Alright everyone, welcome to my updated grooming video. Um, we're going to be grooming an Australian Shepherd today, my Australian Shepherd Aspen. Um, I'm just going to give you a full step-by-step -step process of what I do with her. And we're going to get started with getting the bath area ready. I find that these dogs are very smart and so they tend to kind of clue in on bath times coming if you start to groom them beforehand. So I get the bathtub area ready by having my diluted shampoo in here. So I actually take um, used bottles of kind of, um, I guess it's cream, what's it called, developer. And I just wash it all out and I dilute all of my shampoo in these big huge bottles. I keep them in the bottom of my um, cupboards in the bath area that I use and they're good to go and that way I don't have to be running downstairs. I'm going to fill this one up again just because we just um, emptied it all out into that that shampoo bottle right there. So we're going to get started with grooming. All right, so we're going to lift her up. Oh honey, it's okay. Whoa. There we go. Good girl. Good girl. And take off her collar. All right, so the first thing that I do is we're going to be washing her ears. Um, so we got two cotton balls right there. And we're just going to put a little dab of the ear cleaner on each one, just like that. There we go. And now we're going to clean her ears. So this is pretty easy. We're just going to go around what we can see. We're not going to shove anything down the ear canal um, just in case um, there could be a possibility of hurting her. So we just clean everything that we can see. So let's show everyone. So clear out all of the hair like that. And we're just going to go around in the ear canal. Oh, there we go. Okay. And then we take a clean cotton ball and we're going to just dry it all up because um, we all know that certain types of bacteria enjoy moisture. So if we dry that out, then there's going to be a lot less of a chance of having something um, growing in there, which we don't want. So I use face wipes and basically we're just going to wipe her face just like that. Yeah. Good girl. Just to kind of get anything that she might have got on her muzzle off of her. And clean up those little eye goopies. Good girl. Oh, beyond. Yeah. I love you. Okay. So the next thing we're going to be working on is with a Furminator, we're gonna basically work on getting all of her excess undercoat out. So we just wanna start at the nape of the neck here and work our way down. We're not gonna do this for too long just because um, you really don't wanna take out an excessive amount of undercoat. It's just basically going over her for you know seven to 10 minutes and getting out as much undercoat as we feel comfortable with doing. Um, she's not going to have as much undercoat right now because we're going into the winter season. So she's actually loading up on fur and she's going to retain that fur probably until this summer or at least the spring. And then she starts shedding a bit more. So we're just going to keep on going with this. You want to go all over the neck, um, down the body up to about the shoulders all the way down the back end, rear end is really important, and down to the knee area. And that's basically what I do. All right, you guys, so this is the aftermath of doing the Furminator. And now we're going to move on to the slicker brush and we're going to get rid of all of the loose hairs that have been loosened up by the Furminator. All right, so here is the slicker brush. And we're 
we're just gonna go all along her body. Oh, yes. There we go. Very important to get right behind the ears here. That's where there's gonna be a lot of mats. Um, as well as right on her feathers that are on her rear end. Those two places tend to get the most mats. So I'm gonna be focusing on those areas. Okay, you guys, look at this. <laughs> this is how we do it. We are combing her fur and she likes to stick her head on my head. This is very cute. All right, so this is what she looks like after being all brushed out. So we did all of the um, feathery parts on her feet and on her rear end right here. Everything is trimmed up and now we're going to do some of her feet and also the sanitary area down there. And yeah, it's gonna be good. You're doing very good, honey, yes. So we're going to trim up her feet. This is going to be an example. You're going to want to do this on all four paws. And basically, so we've got the foot right here. And what you want to do is comb up. That's going to get all of the stray hairs right there. Then what you want to do is go in between each toe and pull up. You see that there? you're gonna get all of those stray hairs that are kind of stuck in between the pads. And this of course is uncomfortable for dogs, so you might have to kind of hold their foot a little bit more steady. And you're just going to go all along the top area of that foot and trim up all of those little extra pieces of hair that kind of jump out at you. And we're going to comb up again. There we go. And again, just go over the foot and just snip away all of the strange little hairs that look like they shouldn't be there. And you can go up the foot a little bit to kind of blend it all in. But there we go. And basically, you've got a really nice clean foot right there. All right, so we're switching angles on the same foot. This is the foot that we just trimmed up. And we're going to go in with a Moser. This is what a Moser looks like. And basically we're going to get rid of all of the little hairs that are in between the pads right there. It's going to make it nice and clean, so let's get started on that. I'm going to try and hold it. I might block every once in a while um, your vision. There we go. You just want to follow all of the edges. And you can go in between right there and in between the pad right there. And there we go. That is a nice clean foot. Get rid of all of that right there. But you can basically see all of the fur is um, nice and trimmed. And you can see the top of the foot is also trimmed. So that is a nice looking foot right there. Um, that foot would be done. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. And so you're gonna basically just wanna do that for each of the four feet and it's gonna look super nice and tidy. I'm going to show you how I do a sanitary cut now and that's gonna be good. Yeah. We're gonna show a sanitary cut now. What do you think? She says, oh, I want to be done. Okay. Right there. I think that works, hopefully. Anyways, so we're gonna do a sanitary cut. Basically that starts at um, the belly and it works its way back. And we're just going to do that right now. Hopefully, can you see that? Yes, I think so.
There we go. I think we're good. Anyways, so that's what a sanitary cut looks like. Basically, you go down the leg and up just a little tiny bit past where the um, leg meets the body. Just a little tiny bit past there. And it's all quite hidden, but it's going to keep her nice and clean. That's the main thing. It's for hygiene. So I hope you guys could see that, but that's how you do a sanitary cut. So we're going to work on her rear end now. And we're going to basically trim up the back of her feet right here. I don't really like having a messy look when it comes to the back legs. So I trim them up. So basically we're just going to comb up with a slicker brush. We're going to take our scissors and we just trim off excess and just make it look nice and smooth. Just keep on doing it until you feel comfortable with how it looks. It really doesn't take a lot of work, you guys. I mean, almost anyone can groom their own dog. I would highly recommend just practicing. And the more you practice, the better you're going to get with it. And there we go. And we're gonna do that with the other side. But what we're going to work on is, of course, the booty the rear end and what I like to do is called a poo tunnel and basically it's an upside down V but I just take my um, Moser and I shave kind of right underneath her tail and just around right there I'm very careful here it's a very sensitive area So that it's cleaned up so that if she does a nasty poop it's not going to really affect her too badly it's gonna not dirty her all right and then on the tail I basically cut straight and I round off each side each corner right here so you just want to cut straight and round off each corner and you can play around with this. Um, less is more, of course. So just like with human hair, less is more. You take off a little bit at a time and you just kind of eyeball it and see how it's going. But once you get your straight line, then you can go in with thinning shears and make it really nice and round. So I'm going to do that. All right, so we've got our thinning shears. We've got our set line. And basically you just want to lift up the uh, tail and we're just going to round it off. And the thin shears give a really natural look. Just really helps with rounding everything off. Let's see how that's looking. Looking pretty good. And if you want to you can always even it out with your scissors as well. It's just going to give more of a um, blunt cut, not as much of a natural cut. There we go. There is the little tiny tail. Let's round that off there. I see a little piece that's going to bug me. Okay. All right, now we're going to move on to the poo tunnel. And basically, just want to flatten all of these feathery hairs that are right here. I'm going to take your Moser, and we're just going to skirt the edges here. And just make them nice and round in an upside down triangle shape. So let's do that. You might also want to put a hand underneath your dog and just make sure that they're kept up. That's what I usually do, just because most dogs, when you're messing around um, on this side, they tend to want to sit down and squat. So, I'm going to keep her up.
straighten it out and go back in. All right, basically that's what the bum looks like when it's all nice and done. And when she has any kind of bad poop, it's not gonna be any problem, it's not gonna get dirty, um, makes it just for a much simpler life. Yes, and you still look good. Are you ready to get off this table? I think so. All right, Aspen, would you like a treat? So we always reward good behavior, yes. Good, you're sitting down. Let's get you a treat. And there you go. Good girl. So while we're in the bathtub, we brush her teeth. So we're going to do that. Alright, so there you go everyone. That's how you groom an Australian Shepherd. At least that's how I groom mine. Um, that's the way that works for me the best. There might be another way that works better for other people and other dogs. So um, just keep that in mind, but I hope that this was helpful. Anyways, I'm gonna go, but have a really great day. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!